Today, I'm gonna to be covering your listings again. Now, this is one of the most important videos we've done. In this video, you're gonna learn exactly about keyword hinging and how you can use that to optimize your title, how you can include the most amount of keywords cleverly, still in a readable fashion, but saving a huge amount of real estate in your title. You're also gonna learn about optimizing main images and your bullet points. Now, something else we've just come out with is our listing worksheet, which looks like this. Now, you can download this absolutely free below this video. And also, if you want me to review your listing as I'm doing these in this video, you can also learn exactly how to do that in the description box below and the pinned comment. This video does contain a hidden product. Comment what that product is and the timestamp of where it is in the video. If you're the first to do that, you could win our product ideas this month. And lastly, before we jump in, please remember to give this video a quick like for me. That helps us a ton. And subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this content. Now, the first listing we're looking at is this one, and this is from Juan or Yuan, and thank you for sending this in. And this is a chakra pyramid. So it's like an energy pyramid you can put in front of electronic devices to stop like EMP fields and just generally boost energy. That is the theory behind this. Now, first off, I like this type of product, very giftable, and it's something that you can be more creative with. As you can see, it's actually built in a booklet here as well. So first off on images here, I really like your images overall. I think they're very good. However, I think this main image lacks value because you have so much more value. I was on this one originally, you can see that there's a lot to this product here. And I think this would actually make a better main image, less one of the packaging options here. So you just have one packaging box. I quite like this open one here. And we're going to talk more about your packaging in a second. And then I would also show this booklet and the product. The key is the product should be the main piece. And then you have your peripheral pieces behind that or also in the main image. These are differentiators that you've built in, but you're not showing that on the front of the listing. That probably means you're missing some of the clicks, maybe where your competitors are showing those aspects, or just in general where you can boost the value of your offer right in the beginning. Someone doesn't have to click through to see you have these. Now, this is a good image because people do want to know what's the composition of the pyramid to do with these energy fields. What I would say is your font changes between images. So you can see it's slightly different here, slightly different here. And so I would keep that uniform across your images. Choose a font for your brand and then stick to that. This is a good image, works very well, especially Christmas gift periods. And this is a very giftable product. So you're using a use case here, which is good. I really like this image because it's very credible and it helps give confidence to the customer to make that final leap and purchase your product by showcasing these customer experiences. I think you could better use this image with something else, maybe a tech spec, maybe something on a different use case. This, I think, is your strongest image as before, and probably your main image should be something like this. This tech spec is also good, but it's mixing tech spec and use case. I would separate those two and use this image spot for one of them. In this case, you're talking about electronic devices and maybe blocking fields from electronic devices. That can be one image, one use case. Tech spec, separate image really like this image because it is about that energy natural kind of feel. And then here you actually do have this use case, which is very good. Again, I would just try to keep the formatting the same in terms of your text and text boxes. However, these last two images are not going to be seen by the majority of people. It's only if you open the images will you see these. And so no one's actually going to see those use cases. So for that reason, I would probably change this image or maybe even just swap this, put this one in one of the last positions and bring maybe the digital, the electronics image forward. Next year, I wanna jump into this title. Now you can see it here, but I've just copied it over to a document so I can really present what I mean here. Here you can see the original title and I wanna focus on the beginning of the title and how you can optimize this. So currently yours begins with this phrase. Now, if we do some autocomplete on Amazon, and remember you can use other keyword research methods, 
But if we do that, you can see here, if we just type seven chakra, we can see seven chakra orgone pyramid. So that's the first one related to our product and is third most popular after people start typing that in. Great, so we know that seven chakra orgone pyramid is good. So that's our starting term. But then what we do is we move to the next starting term a customer would use, like orgone. You type that in and we can see orgone pyramid crystal. We have orgone pyramid, but we also have orgone pyramid crystal. And if we type in chakra as the starting term, then we can see chakra orgone pyramid. So it follows that what we can do is say seven chakra orgone pyramid crystal instead of seven chakra orgone pyramid natural. This is called keyword hinging. So if you look at the underlined part, seven chakra orgone pyramid, that is one keyword. And we know that that is a big one over here. Then if we look at the bold part only, chakra orgone pyramid, well chakra orgone pyramid, we know that's a big one. And then if we look at just the yellow highlighted part, orgone pyramid, that's also critical. And if we look at the italicized part, orgone pyramid crystal. We know that's also important over here. And so we've actually included four different key phrases here or keywords here in one five word phrase. And remember, a five word phrase can also be your canonical URL. And a canonical URL is going to help you show up as the Amazon listing when people search Google for your product. So if they type seven chakra orgone pyramid crystal, those five words and your canonical is those five, well, you've got a good chance of being the listing returned for Amazon results in Google. So that's just the beginning of the title using keyword hinging. In the next list, I'm gonna show you much more on this. Now let's look at the bullet points quickly. Now I'm going to improve these in a moment, but I do like how you're kind of using the benefit explain with evidence approach. For example, healing crystal benefit, and then you're explaining with evidence. It's infused with harmonic tones. You're talking about product features. You're evidencing what you've stated here. Now, although I would remove the ticks because emojis can mess with the algorithm on Amazon, Healing Crystal capitalized and then bang straight into our evidence. I also like to use a space hyphen space and then continue here. Because if you are for some reason using a keyword here, sometimes having that open list or anything else can be combined with that word and therefore mess up your keyword indexing. So the first bullet point should always be the biggest benefit to the customer. What is most important to them with this product? Now you've begun with a gift box. I don't think that's the most important here. It's going to be the healing or energy properties of the stone. That's number one. And so I would move this type of bullet point to the front, then follow up with the second one being gift box. I would also not say beautiful giftable box. I would just say beautiful gift box. Then on your second bullet point, natural quartz. Now natural quartz is a feature. It's not a benefit to the customer. So natural quartz is great, but what's the benefit, not the feature, what's the benefit of natural quartz? And that's what should be at the front here. For example, natural healing. So natural healing would be a benefit. And then you can explain it is natural quartz. It's composed of these different materials. I think what's even more powerful is if you use action words. So here I would actually say, protect your energy. That would be the benefit. And then I'm gonna explain with evidence. Also here on healing crystal, it's more of a feature and I would use something like positive energy at the front here. So here we have two similar bullet points. Now this one talks about electronic devices. So here I'm probably going to say, protect yourself from electronics and then explain with evidence. In this one, I'm gonna talk about positive energy. So this one could be increased positive energy. On this next bullet point, crystal pyramid, again, we're talking features, but you talk about meditation, you talk about all these things which are use cases slash benefits. So here I would say something like level up your meditation. You could even say something like meditate like a pro, but it's more about the use case and benefit to the customer. Then we explain with the feature. 
And then lastly here, again, it goes over gifts. So it's a bit of repetition. What I would do here is a guarantee or a warranty or 100% satisfaction and that you will refund if people are not happy because as sellers, we often do that anyway. So you can use it as a marketing point here. Now, the last thing I wanted to mention on this listing is that some of the reviews talked about the packaging not being good enough and that the packaging was falling apart. Now, it looks to me that you've actually fixed that because your packaging does not look bad. But if you have not, and people are still saying those things, if this was your first packaging, I would improve it. The reason being, especially for a product like this, which is quite simple, and people might wonder how good is the quality because it's a more difficult quality to vet. Your packaging is critical because it's gonna boost perceived value. If you have bad packaging with products like this, it creates a halo effect where customers immediately think the product is also low quality. So you do not want that. I would improve your packaging, especially because this is also a giftable item and it's gonna help you avoid negative reviews. You already have a good amount of reviews, so I'd protect the product by doing that. And as an example, something I really recommend is a box like this. You can see it has like the silk inlay, which I think will look beautiful with that crystal pyramid. And they even have like designs which would kind of work with your brand currently. So I think this type of box would work very well and you can pick these up at like 45 cents for 500. So it's really not gonna make a huge difference to margins, but it's gonna massively improve the perceived value of your product. And the second listing we're looking at are these smart hula hoops. This is a brand registered listing. And thank you, Constantine, for sending this in. Now, starting with the images, I really like these images. I think you're showing a ton of value in the main image. Different to the prior listing we looked at, you're showing a lot of value. But I would remove this plus, okay, this one over here. I would remove that because that to me, decreases value. It kind of takes away. They can see this is included in the product. So I would avoid using that. Now, I really like this image. You can see Constantine has put in three extra links are under the white plastic. Now, that is just on the image. I don't think that's actually on the box. But Constantine, I love this because you are avoiding negative reviews and you're educating your customer. You're letting them know hey, these are right underneath here. So they don't receive the product and go, oh, these weren't included. Also, Constantine, an idea is that you actually take that phrase and put it on the underside of the physical lid. That way you ensure customers, when they open this, they see that immediately and they're not relying on the images. And a separate note, I know that it does come down to margins, but I do think you could improve this packaging. This is also not a bad image. I would probably tech spec it a bit, like what is this? How does it work? Uh, but we're gonna get to your instructions in a moment. Really like this image, nice and clean, shows the product in full and being used. This image here, I feel is a little bit weak and I would change it simply because I don't think it's that important for customers. I don't think they're saying, do I buy a smart one or a traditional one? I don't think they're having that conflict. I think they want to buy a smart one. So I would change this and use this image for a different use case or instructions. And I think you should use instructions. And just to show you what I mean, Constantine, I love what you've done in the A plus content here with these instructions. What I would do, since not everyone scrolls down here, I would put these instructions exactly like this, but you can reconfigure them as that image. And then you have this image. Now, I think you're probably going to have a bit of trouble with this word here, uh, which could upset some people. So maybe use something a little more politically correct here. Not that I'm the biggest fan of that, but I do think you should use something more like plus size. It's also a really good keyword. Also on this image, I think you could actually use plus symbols here instead of arrows. It shows like you can add these extra links. And then as you guys can see, there's only these five images. And the reason for that is that Constantine also has a video here because he's brand registered. Really like your video, by the way. It was high quality. It shows the product very well. We're not gonna play it here for time, but good job. Another note on the variations. So at this time, what I would be doing is actually looking at which of those sell the best and then optimizing the product line towards that. You don't want to have too wide of a product line because it can make managing your inventory very difficult. And it may be much more profitable for you if you do a single color. So this is great, but I would be looking at which ones are selling the most 
and think about maybe removing the SKU that sells the least. That's just really gonna help you scale orders because you can order more of one color and usually get better pricing. And then I wanna look at this title because Constantine, I think there's a lot you can do here. And for everyone watching, I think there's a lot you can learn from this. So this is your current title, as you can see on screen. And we're at 176 characters. Remember, you do not want to go above 200. They allow 250, but if it's over 200, you're often going to get suppressed. And even under 200, you, you still want to be conservative. Under 150, even under 100 is often favored by Amazon. The first thing I would do here is 100% remove these commas, because remember, they are going to impact your indexing. So instead of the robot seeing adjustable plus size, they're going to see adjustable plus size comma. So how many people are typing that in with the comma? Probably very few. So I would remove those. But then if we apply the same principle, if we just type in smart H, we can see smart hula hoop is a big one. Smart hula, well, we got smart hula hoop plus size. We also have smart hula hoops for adults weight loss. If we just type in hula hoop, you can see hula hoops for adults weight loss. Hula hoops for adults weight loss plus size. That's a huge long tail keyword and very popular. And then if we type in smart hula hoop plus, we actually see these different measurements that customers are typing in, in order of popularity. So here, Constantine, you have two options that you can choose from. So here is the first one, smart hula hoop plus size, 48 inches to 20 inches. And this would be a good canonical URL. Okay, because we've got one, two, three, four, five. Smart Hula Hoop plus size would be a good canonical URL. And so within this, we would have Smart Hula Hoop as one keyword, but we would also have Smart Hula Hoop plus size. And we'd also have Smart Hula Hoop plus size 48 inches as a keyword here. Now, from what I could see, your product is actually only up to like 46 inches. And that's why I'm giving you options here. But if your product was primarily focused on plus size individuals, then definitely this would be a really good phrase. And in fact, 55 inches would be even better. And so this is where keyword research can actually start to impact product design because you know it must fit 55 inches, for example. But of course, this at the beginning of the title doesn't use the keywords like for adults weight loss. So here's another option you could use smart hula hoops for adults weight loss plus size to normal size and of course that's going to include a lot of our keywords smart hula hoops being one smart hula hoops for adults weight loss two and then including plus size that whole thing is going to be three and then we're saying plus size to normal size because we don't want to scare away those who are not looking for normal size specifically. But then looking at our keywords here, remember autocomplete, you can see we've got waist trainer, we've got workout, and another very big one is extra pieces over here, smart hula hoop extra links. So that's another important keyword here. So to give you an example of an overall title and something you can work with, you can see we're starting just the same as the one we just covered. So we've got one, two, three different keywords in here. Then we're saying 20 inches to 48 inches with extra links. Now we're getting in that 48 inch keyword. Remember, it could be 55 if your product does that. We're getting in the extra links. And then we're saying smart hula hoop workout waist trainer. Now we're doing that because smart hula hoop, I know some people say, well, we already have smart here, but we have smart hula hoops with an S plural. Here we want to have smart hula hoop because it's such an important keyword in those cases for your very, very primary keywords. I believe it's worth repeating the keyword to make sure we have that exact one. But then we're hinging that further to smart hula hoop workout which was another keyword in autocomplete. And then we're also including waist trainer, since that's often at the end of this term as well. And you can see that comes out to 137 characters. Now, some sellers won't even include this little break over here, but it can neaten things up just so it's a little bit more separate. But you can see how those are not actually touching either side, the beginning or end of a keyword, because we want to make sure that we index for that keyword alone. And then again, in this example, smart hula hoops for adults, well, that could be the canonical URL. So in all these cases, it's working out quite well. If you use this one, it's smart hula hoop plus size, 
and if you use this one, smart who loops for adults, both popular terms. And then moving on to the bullet points, I do think you can improve these and I've put them in the document. Now, this is a good example of a lost opportunity. So you're saying here, links and plus size. I would be using that as a keyword opportunity. We've got so many keywords here, hula hoop plus size. I would be using that specifically in the bullet points. So always remember that as you write out your copy here, what keyword can I include next? If I didn't include it in the title, I'm gonna include that here. Remember first bullet point, most important keywords and descending. Now again, I would lead with benefit. So I would definitely remove these emojis. And this first one I would call something like fully adjustable. That's what I would call it because that's quite a key point here. We see a lot of search terms for different sizes, plus size, etc. That's important. Fully adjustable and explain with evidence. Now I put an arrow from this bullet point because here is where you really explain the adjustable stuff. So that's what I would have in the first bullet following fully adjustable. On the second bullet, you say about our set. I think you can make that stronger, like comprehensive or fully comprehensive or comprehensive fitness kit, something like that. And then you do explain all the components to your bundle, which also makes your product different. Now in this bullet, you do use a keyword. So you can see there, smart hula hoop. So you're saying, okay, I'm not just gonna write hula hoops here or smart hoop or my brand name. I'm gonna use this opportunity to put smart hula hoop in here. And on this bullet, you say smart hoop power. Now for a customer just scrolling through, they, they don't know what that means, but they will know what Titan's waist means. So tighten up your waist, tighten your waist. That should be your benefit at the beginning. Then explain with this evidence. Over here, why smart hoop? I think you can make it stronger. Use beginner friendly. I'd say great benefit and then explain with evidence. Lastly, down here, I think you did a great job on this A plus content. It looks excellent. One thing I would say, I see this a lot, is that you can see Constantine has put in the text within the image, which I call a text integrated image. Instead of using Amazon's template where you have like an image over here and then you use their text box to fill for example, all of this copy in. Now you can do that and it looks beautiful, but one drawback is that you're not gonna get the keyword indexing from your description area. Because remember, Amazon's robots can't read or see images. They can only read copy. So if you do this, step one is name your images your best keywords because the robots can read what the image is about. That is called alt text or alternative text when you name the image. But second, what I would recommend is make one or two of these templates be an image plus use Amazon's text box, just so you get indexing as well. And again, I just wanted to point your attention to this part here, which I think is excellent. I think you did a great job on this instructional image. It's gonna help customers educate them and avoid negative reviews because they're going to be less frustrated. That concludes part two of the iFix Your Listing series. If you want me to review your listing just like this, you can follow the instructions in the description or pin comment below. And remember, you can grab our free listing worksheet below as well. Please drop us a quick like if you enjoyed this, subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and I hope you guys are having an awesome Q4. I'll catch you in the next video.